All right, I'm taking you all out of the frying pan and into the fire for this latest review. What, no Jim Steinman fans here? Nocturnal is the latest release from Sunnyside Games, perhaps best known for previous efforts such as Tawaga Among Shadows and The Firm. This side-scrolling action title puts players in control of the flaming soldier, here we go, time to butcher some names, Ardashir, who is on a perilous journey to find the source of an evil mist now plaguing the island of Naran. Nocturnal, like many games in the past few years, is rather cryptic with its narrative, revealing much of it through hidden notes scattered across the lands. Some of these notes are pretty difficult to find, and even if you do collect them all, you'll need to use a little bit of brain power and imagination to have a clearer understanding of the overall plot. Ardashir does encounter a few characters along the way, but there is no voice acting outside of a very few soft grunts. Not like taking a dump straining yourself, grunts! More, uh, hmm, or pondering sounds, hmm. The world of Nocturnal is quite fascinating, but personally, I would have preferred a bit more of a straightforward approach from the narrative design. By the end of it all, I didn't really feel that the storyline had any real profound impact on me, but the gameplay absolutely did. Nocturnal is not a game that features huge weapon variety, instead, you mostly rely on your sword and a dagger which you can toss at foes. This dagger will also play a role in some of the game's light puzzle solving mechanics. In the world of Nocturnal, your sword really isn't that much of a threat unless you light that sucker on fire. There are various flame sources that you'll encounter, and striking them allows for Ardashir to inherit Flame powers. He's on fire! Kind of like NBA Jam, being on fire makes you more powerful, remember? I mean, there's no slam dunking here, but you get the point. Outside of your standard sword swinging and dagger tossing, Nocturnal has pretty sound platforming mechanics as well, with less of a double jump and more of a mid-air attack that propels you further. Statues along your adventure can also be used to spend currency on a few available upgrades. The skill tree isn't all that large, but does have a decent amount of new abilities for you, along with additional health points and longer flame duration. Leveling up is simple but effective and won't overwhelm players in the slightest. Combat is pretty ordinary with the exception of the flame mechanic which makes things way more fun if you ask me. Most enemy encounters will have you dashing out of the way of attacks and striking at the right moment with these strategy elements coming from your fire. As I mentioned, you're pretty weak without flames so often in Nocturnal you'll need to strike torches to stay lit. As you progress forward it's crucial to continue lighting the path so that your flames never die down. The moments where they do, you'll feel quite powerless, an effect that the developers of Nocturnal have executed on brilliantly. Still, this isn't a difficult title whatsoever, and also doesn't feature a robust map that you'll be exploring every nook and cranny of. Indeed, Nocturnal is pretty straightforward, with a relatively linear path to be followed. It also won't put up all that much of a challenge outside of a few screen-scrolling rooms of death and the occasional though rare, boss encounter. This isn't a game that's quite a cakewalk, but players expecting a Souls-like challenge certainly won't encounter anything near that. Again, Nocturnal is very much a straightforward action game with a twist, and not a Metroidvania or Souls game, which honestly felt pretty refreshing. I think part of what made this game so easy is a very generous healing system. You gain an ability pretty early on that allows you to heal at any time so long as you have enough magic ability. That recharges pretty quickly. You do kind of have to plan out when you heal, but it's not that hard to do, and as long as there's flame available, you'll be able to perform a heal quite easily. The puzzles scattered across the world never get much more complicated than lighting flames in a specific order, and honestly, they don't really have the time to. I completed Nocturnal in about four hours, just as things started to feel like they were really heating up. I love a short game, but Nocturnal's world begged for further exploration. Sure, you can go back and collect notes you missed, and there is a speedrun mode to be unlocked, but I could have done with maybe another two to three hours of gameplay myself. But at the least, it's four hours well spent, and a beautiful island to gaze upon. Dark cathedrals with stained glass windows, excellent flame effects, and gorgeous animations help to bring this world to life. Nocturnal is not the most vibrant color palette I've seen in a game, but the ashy grays and dark blacks set a wonderful tone. Enemy variety is limited, but what's here is great. These shadowy figures with bright eyes and bandages are creative looking even if I could have dealt with a few more enemy types. All told, Nocturnal looks great and it sounds nice too. The soundtrack features a good deal of hand drumming, shakers, and strings 
string orchestration that comes together beautifully. There are a ton of compositions, but they are integrated into the game quite well, and when the music isn't playing, the crackling of flames or crumbling of pillars all sound top notch. Nocturnal is a great looking and playing game with a unique mechanic that I ended up enjoying greatly. While I wish the adventure didn't come to its conclusion so quickly, it's a hell of a ride while it lasts. Players won't find a huge challenge here, which is either music to your ears or reason to not want to check this one out, but either way, this is a great little indie, and at the least, it belongs on your wish list. Thank you so much for supporting clickbait free independent content here on YouTube. Remember to hit the like button and subscribe to help us bring a voice to the voiceless ones in gaming. And be sure to check out patreon.com slash I dream of indie games where we can together defeat the gaming echo chamber.